second game on this episode of the 90s Simply the Best, we go back to the year 1991. In charge of the minor preliminary semi-final is Eddie Ward. Already in 1991, it has been a win at home for both sides over each other. Although the convincing result at the Bruce Stadium a month ago to the Raiders, 36 to 8. Meninga with the first touch of the semi-finals. How many more may he have over the next four weeks? Just inside their own 22, the Magpies. Beautiful sunny afternoon, but plenty of breeze around. Wayne Pierce is it going to affect things down on the sideline? Well, it tend, always tends to swirl around here at the football stadium. At the moment, it's, it's tending to go more across the field, so it won't really, won't really be an advantage to either Canberra or Western Suburbs in this first half. Farrah doesn't get it away cleanly. Belcher slowly getting back to some of his best form. The Magpies didn't give him 10 metres, said Eddie Ward. Trying to hunt up this try. Win from dummy half, swiveling up the middle. They're only four metres out from the Canberra line. Taylor, the architect so often. Langmack gets it out for Lynn. The defence is holding. But they still have tackles up their sleeve. Taylor looking to get a short ball to Brent. Win is taken by Stewart, it's on the last. This time they will be able to go for goal from right in front. He certainly would. And it's the Magpies who grab the early lead, 2-0. Gillespie, tied over the top. Now Brent, plenty of purpose in the Magpies. Quick hands from Taylor, Linton through the gap. Ricky Stewart won't get in, he couldn't keep his feet. He, he had Stan Presley on the inside, he was at it, up he... under the black dot. Now that was forward to Langmack, but we still might get it, yes! Well, the ball looked forward to Langmack, but the Magpies are on line for an upset. That ball from the play of the ball to Langmack was the one in question. But on the NMI replay, Meninga was there, and Farrah went straight through him. Andrew Farrah, who has been a winning grand final member of Canterbury Banks Down teams throughout the 80s. Plenty will be spent over the next month, but he misses this one. That would have been an ideal comfort break. But they still have it, and it's 6-0 the Magpies over the Raiders. One more remaining. Langmack goes for a field goal, hooking around, it'll come back into whose arms? The Raiders are going to sleep. If they expect this match to fall for them, then they will be the ones to go. They're not doing the work, and this was unbelievable. There just isn't an up resolve there. Now have a look at this for a mistake. Very casual play there. He played the man and not the ball. That was fortunate that the Western Suburbs player, Simons, also had taken his eye off it. If they wanted a wake-up call, they just got it. Daly, Meninga, great ball to Martin. Beats the tackle beautifully of Devine. That's a great ball to Belcher. sudden they explode from their own line it was Meninga who got them sailing seems to strike it well but it's going wide but the Raiders get an answer back West 6 Canberra 4 wasn't a good kick but it's a big bonus for the Raiders Lazarus quickly to his feet on the 22 Daly sights a gap and he put the foot down Got the shoulder check from Thomas. Penalty for stealing the ball. Take it on. He sends it down the middle. And he locks up the minor semi-final at six all.
Camber in a real hurry to get this one started. Stewart has Belcher on a blind side with Wood to the open. The more dangerous Daly and Meninga. Daly to Meninga. Goodbye, no. What a run. How do you stop him from an open situation like that? The most powerful three-quarter in the world. The cover defence tried desperately. They were rushing from the back of the scrum, but on the MMI replay, he just brushed aside Langmack. Gallop past Gillespie, Taylor couldn't do anything. How do you stop him? You don't stop him, that's the answer, but it was a well-worked play here by Canberra. Laurie Daly ran flat across the field. He knew Meninga was going to be back on the inside, and then he went through one, two defenders, and stretched out the score. A little bit of self-motivation that works wonders. After being behind, they climb back and right on half time in the sudden death semi-final. West looking for a good restart to the second half. But will they be strong enough at the finish? Well, common sense says West have got to score next realistically. Langmack with a couple of dummies. Thomas, the ball was touched. Six more. Taylor got a good ball away. Thomas. 15 metres out and right in front of the posts. Well, they're going to get a chance to score next because here's a penalty. It's a little closer. The Raiders by four now in the sudden death semi-final of 91. Stewart, they've been feeling each other out with the kicking game, just waiting for the mistakes to be made around the 22s. But no major errors have been forthcoming. Coin gets it cleverly to Steve Walters. Great hands from Stewart. They all hung off him. But Still can, hanging off You him. can see there he didn't really want to run. He was looking for support to come off him. It's on the last as Walters looks to Daly. And to Belcher. Knocked down. By Taylor. Belcher goes back and gets six more. This was what punished them towards the end of the set of first half. Too many passages of play. Will it be the same case, Meninga? Meninga gets it inside the bell. It is. It's a replay. It is wide again. The tries are all important for Canberra to get it to 16 to 8 over West. Walters. Walters getting it back too and touched by West Six more. Bradley Clyde into the clear just outside the 22 and they've got six Stewart quickly for Daly and Meninga now Meninga back to Daly he gets it to Martin Martin keeping it alive for Boyd, Brett Boyd Boyd is out there for Lazarus, right on the 22. Midfield and in the danger zone. Stewart. Short ball and a beautiful one for Meninga. Number of times that West have really hung on in this second half, Steve Walters. The try would be good reward for him. Instead, it's the double for Belcher and for the Magpies, that's it. They have just got too many all over the park, too many big guns. And a lot of possession. Meninga raises the flags. And the Raiders, 22, Western Suburbs 8. Stewart finally gets the call for a rest from Tim Sheens. And Jason Gregory's the man on there, Graham. And Jason Gregory out there. He will only have a couple of minutes. Congratulations and a job well done from Tim Sheens with about two minutes remaining on the clock. Fritz. 
Ritz Billy getting through before a great tackle from Thomas puts him to ground. He's a real handful when he winds up. Barnhill spinning out of some tackles. Boyd. There is no difference. Here goes Walters again. When you talk about the great eras, Parramatta, the early 80s, Canterbury, the mid 80s, the great run of St. George from the late 50s through the 60s. It's the same when you talk about this Canberra side. And Canberra have struggled for, for much of the season. They've only run into form in the past three or four weeks, and that must be pleasing coach T uh, Tim Sheens. I'm sure the timing is impeccable. It is something about late August and September that brings out the best. It would have been hard for them to, to have a good start to the year after the Kangaroo Tour and having won two premierships. It's pretty tough to keep your mind on the job, but now, business end of the year, they know what it's all about. Western Suburbs with the dying seconds of 91 ahead of them. Langmack injured. No player needs an injury with the season all but over. And Laurie Daly's hobbling around too. That painkiller's obviously wearing, wearing out. Daly says, I'm okay to the trainer. And he says, I'll see out the last 60 seconds. And it looks likely that Langmack will see out the last 60 seconds as well. Gregory. Especially the way they hung in in this sudden death semi for so long. The third game in seven days. But it tells in the end. So did the possession. And so did this Canberra machine themselves. Coached by Timmy Sheens. 22 to 8 to the Raiders. A double to Belcher. Getting back to his best form. Meninga was outstanding. Bell got a try. Meninga three goals. Farrah a try for the Magpies. Taylor two goals. That's the story.